You probably know that the minimum legal tyre tread depth is 1.6 millimetres. But do you know why safety experts recommend that we change our tyres when they get to 3 millimetres of depth? Have a look at this. This wet track simulates a motorway in the rain. I'm going to get up to 85 kilometres an hour, then I'm going to slam the brakes on, do an emergency stop, and see what happens. Hopefully, my plastic assistant down there will remain unscathed. Here goes. As soon as I've got up to 85 k's, brakes will go on. Brake, 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 brake. Oh, ABS. Oh. OK. Yeah, ABS is working hard, but I've stopped at least a car length. Yeah, car length in front of Bob, my plastic assistant. So that's all right. That is with three millimetres of tyre tread. OK, now we're going to do the same experiment, but the tyres are now 1.6 mil, which is the legal limit. The difference in theory is just that, the width of two credit cards. But in the wet, millimetres make metres of difference. Here we go. Break, 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 break. Oh, oh, oh. Bit of ABS judder, my plastic assistant. We've gone straight past him. About a car length past him. There you go. Two car length difference between the three mil and the 1.6, that's remarkable. At 1.6 millimetres, a tyre is at the end of its life. We don't wait for other car components to completely wear out before replacing them, so why should tyres be any different? The distance I've walked just telling you this now is the extra that 1.6 millimetre car has travelled. Safer tyres do save lives.